past week, Elon Musk did a presentation for one of his new companies called Neuralink and a lot of hype was created around it. Um, what exactly is it and why are people getting so excited? So Neuralink was developed almost about a year ago and the motive of the company is to create brain machine interfaces that could successfully communicate with a human brain and a computer. Now, what exactly happened last week, which was such a breakthrough? They basically developed this new chip, uh, the V9 chip, which was about the size of a coin. And the idea was that this chip would then be inserted in a human skull right on the top. It would have like these thread-like electrodes and these electrodes would be inserted inside the brain and they would interface with the brain. This means that say someone has lost the ability to walk the reason that that happens is because the neurons are not able to communicate from the brain to say the limbs. What this device would then do is allow that. So potentially a paraplegic person could be able to walk. We could prevent future diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's where people are not able to control their movements and where the brain interfacing with the body is required. Now, the reason why this is such a huge breakthrough and what exactly happened last week was that Elon Musk did a presentation where they successfully implanted this chip, the V9 version, inside a pig. Now, the experiment that they performed was that they basically had the pig walk, eat, do a lot of motions, and every time the pig would do that, when the chip was implanted inside it, it would create these signals. So this technology is really fascinating to me as a biomedical engineer because it involves a lot of neural networks and something called brain mapping. Now brain mapping is the process where we understand which neurons uh, are responsible for which parts of the communication to the entire body. There are millions and trillions of neurons that go entire that go across the entire body and it's impossible for us to decode each and every one. But we're still on our way. So the technology that Elon Musk has implemented in his company is not something that's new, it very well exists. The thing that's huge and that's fascinating is that he is bringing this technology from a lab setting out into the commercial market for people to use. This is huge. It takes a lot of vision and it takes, and it takes a lot of effort to do this. Now this technology was so cool that it was granted the breakthrough tag by the FDA which is basically having a step closer into human trials. But the interesting thing is who would want to volunteer for something like this? What they would essentially do is this coin-like device would be implanted into your, into your skull. So a hole would be drilled into your skull, the chip would be implanted and that coin surface would remain on your skull. So it, your, basically your skull wouldn't even be put back. That part of your skull would just you kind of like have a hole in your skull and it would just be super glued with the skin around and then your hair would just grow back. So that's the plan right now. The other fascinating thing about this technology is that they plan to do it completely robotic. So there would be no surgery involved with an actual human. The implantation of the chip would be completely automated So I'm definitely excited for this technology and I feel like as a biomedical engineer, um, I was just excited to share this news with you guys. It's definitely interesting to see where this would go in the future. There's a lot of testing that's required, but it, nevertheless, it's a breakthrough and it's just groundbreaking technology that Elon Musk is getting into the market for people to use. And that's just absolutely fascinating. So yeah, that was our five minute talk. Let's get right into our workout and I'll see you guys at the gym.
so I just got home from the gym and I had a pretty solid workout. Uh, day six is going pretty good so far so good I've usually been eating those peanut cl clusters and some milk for lunch and dinners are usually egg um, omelet different versions of that so I've been having pretty fun um, on this clean-ish diet and I feel like every day as I go to the gym as I'm eating better my body is kind of like cleansing itself if you would um but so far so good uh day six video three it's success on the 21 day challenge i hope you guys are enjoying this so before i end this video i just want to give kind of my final thoughts on Neuralink and what i think of this whole technology i feel like it's super cool but one thing that we do want to note here is that just because it's Elon Musk and he has such a strong social media presence, you know, like he's like the Iron Man of the real world. And the fact that it's him doing this presentation and actually bringing that technology, although it's a pre-existing technology, because he's the one doing it, a little more hype is created than it usually would. I mean, think about it. He has almost what? 40 million Twitter followers, that's a huge following and that's a huge social media presence in this like time to have, especially for someone in the technology sector. He's achieved so much, but I can't wait to see where he takes this company. Uh, they just have a little under 100 people right now, but I feel like because it's him and he has a past history of making these successful products, companies, industries. He has a foot in almost every single sector and now healthcare. But if you like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. Um, let me know what your thoughts are and how you guys are doing. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.